We all know Zagat as a place to get restaurant reviews and ratings. You can also use it for nightlife, hotels, and shopping. And with their new app, Zagat 2010, you can use it to get a great information about where you'd like to eat or where you'd like to stay. You can perform advanced searches that apply filters and make it much easier for you to narrow down the exact type of place you're looking for. So let's say you want to go to a restaurant that has a score of at least a 10 on Zagat's rating scale. You don't want to go to a dump. You can also add decor, you can add service, or you can, let's say you're going on a date and you don't want to spend more than $40 per person. So you type in 40 and you browse through the cuisine options. I'm going to select Asian and neighborhood. It shows me surrounding areas or I can leave that blank if I just want to go anywhere. I'm going to select one neighborhood. And then it gives you the option for certain features like buffet, business friendly, kid friendly, uh, outside seating, of various types of options of what you can pick. I'm going to leave that blank because I don't have any particular requests. So then you perform the search and you get a, a list of all the places that fit your options. You see Benihana, Sushin, and I'm going to select Bangkok right now. Now I get to see their their rating and the review that Zagat gave them. I get to see the atmosphere, the hours, and the feature list below. If I'm not satisfied, I can go back to map view and I can look at some more places. Or I can go to results and say, no, this is the place for me. So I go back to Bangkok. I see their call information. And just like that, I have the number to make a reservation. With Zagat, you can apply several features as you saw. You can use this for uh, finding a hotel, a shopping center, you can find uh, neighborhoods, you can do it by the top list in the area. And if you'd like to have more than just uh, an advanced search options, there's also the, the Zagat Home Widget, which always based on your GPS tells you local results of places you might like. So it's going to tell me a place nearby called Emily has a 24 hour food rating and a cost of $32 so it's within my budget. I can say hmm, maybe I should try this place out. I can also refresh and it'll look for somewhere new and it'll give me a new restaurant. Once again this is uh, the Zagat app, Zagat 2010 available for Android. Reverse lookup directories are your friend. If you ever had uh, a number that come up on your caller ID that you don't recognize, if you've ever seen a number, you were trying to figure out who owns it. The, Jarman's Reverse Lookup is an app that allows you to search easily for the person tied to that number. So when you enter a number, it searches a database and it returns the information for who owns that number. Now it ties into several databases, as you can see. You have uh, white pages in the US, it also has databases from Switzerland, Sweden, uh, Norway, Italy, Germany, France, Denmark, Canada, etc. I believe it supports 12 countries and each country usually has more than one directory. Aside from allowing you to look up numbers, it can also tell you incoming calls. So if I get a call from this number right now, it's not in my caller ID, it's just going to say the number. But if I install Jarman's reverse lookup, it's going to it's going to search a database for at white pages and it's going to say the yellow cab company is calling you right now. If you get a lot of calls from telemarketers or numbers you don't recognize and wrong numbers you don't know what's going on, this is a good app to have with you. The last app I'm going to show you is a game that I've been playing for a long time. It's a big time waster for me. It's called Age of Conquest Europe. It used to be called Avum Obscurum, but it changed the name. Basically, it's a turn-based game. It's all on strategy. You're trying to build world domination. So you take the territory of a medieval place or an ancient empire, and you battle out with other empires in a campaign to rule the world. As you can see, I've played it several times and won several times. Uh, don't be impressed. I've mainly left it on standard uh, for the moment. There's three levels, standard, hard and extreme uh, based on what I've seen from other people once you gain some experience in this app it can be very easy to start winning even on extreme but it can be fun along the way it costs five dollars in the market and 
you can have several options you can have it four to 32 empires you can play fight the Punic Punic Wars or ancient empires so I'm gonna set it to 32 empires and uh, let's see I will select an easy place and it's I'm gonna play a game right now for each turn you have the option to do several things you can move men recruit you can fortify which makes it harder uh, for enemies to conquer your territories or you can disband your soldiers to save money because each soldier that you keep is gonna cost you money I recruited a lot of people now I'm gonna move some to make sure I'm able to take control of a certain place Now I'm going to end my turn and allow the app to update itself. Okay, as you can see, a turn just finished, and I claim two territories, so I get more money. Uh, I'm gonna give you a tip: if you want, you have to be aggressive in this game, because if you wait too long, someone will kill your king, and you lose the game. So since I have a lot of people here, I'm just gonna attack this this person who left their king open. And I'm gonna end my turn. It's basically you repeat that step over and over again until you control the entire globe or you can do a standard game which is just control enough territory to earn a hundred points this is a you I strongly suggest trying the light version of this first because this game might bore you or it might interest you a lot if you're into playing risk it might interest you a lot otherwise it could just be some boring game that you play but I think a lot of people will like this so it's called age of conquest in Europe and as a little tip, if you ever want to be dirty and cheap, if you make a move that you don't like, you can uh, get a task killer and end the application and you'll be able to do that round over again. But that's only if you're a scumball who likes to cheat.